Just when we thought the scandal over mishandled remains of fallen American troops at Dover Air Force Base couldn't get any worse, it did today. David Martin has been reporting on the investigation that led to a career-ending letter of reprimand for the commander of the mortuary. And tonight, David is at the Pentagon with new developments. A landfill is no one's idea of a fitting resting place for a soldier fallen in battle. No service member, no human being at all should be placed into a landfill, no matter if it's a fingernail, a foot, or an entire body. Yet that is what happened to Gary Lynn Smith's husband, Sergeant First Class Scott Smith, who was blown apart by a roadside bomb in Iraq in 2006. Without her knowing, part of his body was incinerated and disposed of as medical waste in this Virginia landfill. She found out two years after his funeral. I have honestly no idea what we buried of him because they forbid me to see him in the casket. Smith's parents signed this form authorizing the mortuary at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to make appropriate disposition of any subsequent portions of his body identified through DNA testing. They did not ever disclose to us that there was even a possibility that these remains would go into a landfill. But she kept asking what had happened to the rest of her husband's body. I finally got a gentleman on the phone who told me no one wanted your husband's remains, so they threw him in the trash with the rest of the medical waste from the hospital. She didn't believe him, but it was confirmed in writing, taken to a landfill in King George County, Virginia. It completely shattered me. I have no faith whatsoever in Dover that our soldiers are being treated there with respect at all. Three years ago, the Air Force realized in one general's words, this is not right. Ever since then, remains that never reached their loved ones are buried at sea. David, thank you very much.